When software evolves to adapt to more modern technology, the current coding of the various functions should also be updated. APIs are sets of subroutine definitions, protocols, and tools which allow other applications to communicate with each other. The following are the APIs introduced in this version. Unique X3 Session Identifier, Error Handling, New Management of Release and Version, Hybrid Development, the Interoperability between Aetna and Classic Code, and Data Transfer between Classes and Masks. In the previous version, the Unique ID session was centralized on a single application server. This introduces a single point of failure. The new APIs uses a new mechanism to handle X3 session identifiers. The result is that there is no longer a single point of failure on the application server. The PSADX function, which displays the user monitor, has been deprecated. When developing a program, if a line code calls PSADX, this call will no longer function. The old PSADX library, however, is still present for compatibility reasons. The description of this API can be found in the online help. If you access the online help, and then go to technical help, development platform, API and library guides, then go to the supervisor library section, and here you want to go to the libraries usable in both modes, and then select Manage Sessions Information. You'll be able to find a complete description of this API. These are some of the errors and warnings encountered when we execute an event in X3. Error methods have been introduced to handle these messages. These new APIs trigger these messages. These new methods of error handling can also be found in the online help. Development Platform, Developer Guide, and under Development Tools and Techniques, you will find the Developer Guide for Error Handling. And in here you'll find examples and descriptions of each of the error handling methods and values. Do you remember when we used to type the global variable G version on the calculator to know the version number of the application we were using? The old global variables are deprecated and they are frozen to their latest value. And these were also replaced by APIs that can be found in the online help. Development platform. The developer guide. We want to go down here to administration tools and we can access release numbers. And this will give you a listing of all the different functions. Hybrid development is a mix between classic development and Syracuse development. Currently, a single server is running both classic and Syracuse code. In the future, a new server called Aetna, the development of which is still in progress, which will be dedicated to run Syracuse code, will be launched. Once Aetna is available, interactions between Classic Code and Syracuse Code will be done through a dedicated API, so existing Classic Code related to managing classes will need to be rewritten. A full description of this API can also be found in the online help. In the online help, you can go to Technical Help, Development Platform, Developer Guide, Development Tools and Techniques, Developer Guide Hybrid. And here you will find all the details that relate to hybrid development within X3. This new API, Set Instance, performs an assignment between the properties of a class instance and the content of a file class or a mask class. The transfer is based on property names and column names, but the transfer is done only on the common names. This instruction is used extensively by the CRUD operation support. Syntaxes 1 and 2 transfer elements that are not in arrays or collections. Syntaxes 3 and 4 is the new type of transfer. 
The current collection index is given in the syntax, and the current index in the mask array is given by the noLine system variable. Examples of this can likewise be found in the online help. In the online help, you can go to technical help, script glossary, and then scroll down under language instructions. Here you'll find set instance. And from there you can find uh, syntax and examples. You have learned that with the constant evolution of the Sage X3 product, tools are needed to upgrade functions that exist in the previous versions in order to communicate with the new version. These APIs will allow communication and exchange of services between the applications.